Greetings, Internet. Welcome back to Two Point Campus. Here in Two Point County, where I've got... Give it a sec. There we go. <laughs> and the Internet says hi. Uh, where I have currently got my personal save file stats here, so... Don't worry about that. We'll uh, we'll fix that in a moment because I was checking the volume levels because after last week's uh, Christmas tree stream, my voice was too quiet and I think the balance should be better now. So let me know if anything needs fiddling around and make sure that my voice is loud enough. And... I checked for the presence of DLC. Um, I think I've seen one of the cities where it's going to happen, but um, I didn't want to load up our save file because I didn't want to run the risk of seeing something off stream that I wouldn't be able to see again. So we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll head on in. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. It's been... It's been rainy and busy and uh, kind of all over the place, but I am enjoying the fact that my condo with its, uh, with its being on the second floor and thus the, uh, the rain falls directly onto my roof, I still get some of that rain on the roof sound that I used to get in my old apartment. Not quite as loud, because it's it's a roof over the living room and not corrugated metal outside the bedroom, but it has to be raining really hard to get that sound, but, but it does work. I guess the flip side of that is there might not be all that much insulation up there. <laughs> got some maple chai tea, which is a flavor that David's tea doesn't make anymore. They're all about their limited edition flavors. So if you ever find something you like from them, especially if it's seasonal, you kind of got to jump on it. Consolation, the unit below is helping to heat my place. Well, I I don't know if that's enough to counteract the lovely 1970s single pane windows. I would like to get those addressed at some point, but uh, it's uh, it's not the greatest place for holding in or keeping out heat. But it's cute and cozy aside from that, so here we are. All right, let's load it up and Hopefully there will be some indication that um, that the DLC is installed. Steam seemed to think everything was fine. It didn't give me an install button, so. And uh, you know, sometimes they don't throw it in front of your face until you're far long enough. There we go. Yep, Universe City now available. Okay, so we'll definitely head over there. Yeah. Cheesy heap. Let's cape shrapnel and get a star in University. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna start inland here. 
and then move out this way. Yeah, in my other save file, um, I've really only been working on the first campus because that's all I did at the beginning, just to test the game and make sure it would work. And they will hardly even let you scroll the map out this far. I can get about this far and just barely see that, yeah, there's a city with a rocket. But on this save file, we've unlocked everything, so they'll show us. So, revitalize the county's interest in outer space one small step at a time. Cool. Well, let's get in there. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. A solar lair. Look at that. It, it, it really does look like space camp. Especially in Alabama. display there. I'm gonna have to spend a while just looking at the scenery here. At the dawn of space travel, the days were long and the nights were dark and pointless. A bit like space itself. By the end, blind perseverance had won out against physics and common sense. But now I hear they're doing it all again. For shame! The county will never develop if we insist on rehashing old homework and passing it off as progress. There, I said it. <laughs> off to space, champ. All right. <laughs> yep. Oh man, they're pressing all the right buttons here. The two-point space program is far, far away from its golden years when rockets lit up the news and astronauts were semi-famous like B-list actors you don't even recognize. Back in the day, Universe City was a bustling facility with non-stop foot traffic, but now it's dusty, forgotten, and unprofitable. Revive the Institute, oversee the introduction of cosmic expansion, the future of domestic space travel, and land safely in the dawn of the second space age. So our course info is Astrology with an L and cosmic expansion. Rubbish should be placed in bins. Is that too complicated for you? Oh boy, Captain Cushion. I'm actor Roderick Cushion. But you may know me better as TV's Captain Cushion. My time playing a science fictional character has made me an official expert on all things cosmic. All things? Really? You can't handle the truth. Not all of it. Well, not exactly, but if you can get people excited about space again, then they'll definitely commission another series of my show. So I'm here to offer my expertise. Cosmic dude. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> they say the Institute is sinking financially. When a similar thing happened on the show, we jettisoned low-ranking crew members into space. It worked a treat. Well, there's your red shirts. Let's start off by lightening our load for the good of the campus and all the important characters with actual dialogue. Oh, man. Teachers are reminded that extra tuition <laughs> is additional, not optional. The funny thing is, we were literally doing this in Fluffborough. We got a little bit of mileage out of it. <laughs> the jettisons. Oh, man. Oh, this, this place is brilliant. I love it already. So we need to fire three teachers and sell three computer labs. This is classic original space age computing right here. This is literally the stuff they were using. Oh man. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's gonna make me so sad to get rid of it. Oh man. Okay, required viewing. If you hadn't if you haven't seen Hidden Figures yet, go watch it. 
career goal are we sitting on? Campus of the Year Award. Okay. Well, let's look at this place. I love this fountain that looks like a spaceship blasting off. That's awesome. Why have I never seen a real fountain like this? This needs to be a thing. I don't want to buy this plot. Oh. We've got all these nice signs. Got that's clearly some kind of rover parked next to the taxis. More rovers. They most likely don't count it if you build right back after deleting. Yeah, we probably need the space and the money. And we've got all these rockets here too. Sir Nigel Bickleworth oh, on man. Two Point Radio. Oh, look at that. It's me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, the voice coming out of your radio here on... Okay, I'm gonna shut him up because I, I need to I need to talk more about this. All these like just displays of having rockets out here, there's a so when I went to the space camp in Alabama, I usually went to the one in in California, but when I went to the one in Alabama, they had it was right at the the Marshall Space Flight Center, and they had this outdoor museum with all kinds of rockets and 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 it was just like this. They were just out there where you could see them either standing up or, or sideways, not on such a giant framework, but it was, it was just like this. And they had this big cylindrical building uh, that was the dorm room, and it looked all space agey. And, and you know, this... Uh, and the... Yeah, the place with the Saturn V on its side. It's a massive rocket. And and it's also got, you know, shoreline vibes. You know, before they took all the the outside off of that big hangar. And there's just all these you know, massive buildings. And you know, Google's kind of taken over the place now, but this looks exactly the way it should. I love this. Okay, Nigel. Point Radio. Isn't it a beautiful day in this little county of ours? Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several written requests to our management, this is actually just the way I like it. Assistant to the library. Thank you. So they want us to sell three computer labs, and I'm going to sell these three that are smaller and harder to expand because I'm sure we're going to need to get more and newer computers so we'll be able to expand this one easily. So let's sell off these others. Maybe we can uh, send those big old computers to the computer museum. Which is right near all that Old space stuff at Shoreline, by the way. Okay, there you go. And uh, even at the at uh, the aviation challenge in California, not the same place as Space Camp, but that was right near an air museum. So all these airplanes just out for display, just like these rockets including an SR-71, which can, at least at the time, could be ready to fly within a couple hours. That's why it was set far away from the other planes. Uh, okay. The really fun thing is to look the place up on Google Maps and you can see all the planes. Uh, okay, so let's look at our staff. We have no janitors. We're going to need one. And we have a lot of teachers. Uh, we do not need people who are only dedicated to research. We can double that up with actual teaching, so... It's okay. It may surprise you to know that this sort of thing happens to me all the time. No, oh, I'm sorry. Required in bathroom. 
I had one last repayment to make on my house. Uh, looks like it's back to the forest for me. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, they throw a tantrum when they're fired. Aw. All right, we need to fire some more people. Three more. Is there anyone with terrible traits? You have been blindness, but you can also tutor. We already have someone else who can do those things. If it's quite all right with you, I'd like to discuss crockery. Any objections? No. Delightful. Yes, I don't know who needs to hear this. I'd imagine it's most of you, but plating is not optional. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shoveling chowder into your sockets. Okay, one more. I don't want to get rid of all our researchers. So we're going to keep one person with bin blindness. Announcement. Shakes are not an appropriate breakfast. That genie said this would happen. I never used to believe in that kind of thing, but I won't make that mistake again. Of course, I'm also letting people go who've got some nice qualifications, so that may come back to bite me, but you can't get rid of bin blindness. You can train people to do things, but you can't get rid of, of uh, unfortunate traits. They say space is the great unknown. Well, then research is the thinking man's solution to everything we don't yet know. Oh, yeah. See, I've, I've just tanked our research department. The Institute is certain that a booming research department is key to a successful space program. Completing commercial research is a great way to make extra cash. All right, well. Build a level four research lab. Okay. Let's put it right by the computer lab. Uh, what's the climate like? Temperate. Oh, thank goodness. Research computer gives tons of research power, but it's also really expensive. Let's see if we can add other things first. A bomb poster, you know, somehow that fits. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. Okay, so now we can start working on our academics. We need an anti-gravity chamber, a lecture hall, and a rocket lab. Okay. We're also going to need things like dorms and all that. Oh, we've got some of those. Yeah, this is nice that they've set up basic accommodations already. Really nice of them to do that for us. This place isn't Huntsville in the summer, then. Yeah, I, I was... I was sent to Alabama in the spring so that I wouldn't have to deal with the summer. The only unfortunate thing if you did that was that there was one of their simulators which they could not run during the spring because the brakes only worked properly in summer. Janitor with space mining skill. It's time for Agony Answers, where I solve one of your tiny little problems with minimal effort. The following is from Forlorn in Freshly. Nigel, the other day I accidentally left my dissertation on the bus. Could you please spread the word and see if I can get it back? Thanks in advance. 
Well, well, this is what you get for riding the bus. As for your request, I'd love to help you. I really would. But if I did, how would you learn? You see my dilemma? This needs to be a six by nine. I may need to rearrange some stuff. Janitor needed in staff room. See if we can put our anti grav room here. Six by. Well, let's go for the full six by ten. I guess it won't be all that easy to expand computer lab. Here we go. Alright, that will do for now. Might be a water tank, which would be realistic. Uh, lecture hall. And a rocket lab. by five we can stick that oh it must be placed outside oh well that makes sense if we're going to be building actual rockets put it right out here assistant to the library thank you okay Yes, it's an actual launch pad. Okay, let's look at these courses. We've got Astrology, A Brief History of Space, Gravitational Forces. Ouch, my brain. We're up in the air, settling down. Second year, we've got Cohort and Convoy. Next stop, Space. Personal preference, I'm anti-gravity. Weightless training, take a seat. And then Terminal Velocity, Quick Like Death. Oh dear. Heavy times, fighting gravity, that happens in the gym, and finding space, coordinates and navigation, okay? Over here in cosmic expansion, we've got, name your price, buying up space, oh no. Empty space, a whole lot of nothing in Rocket Science 101. Personal space, this one is mine. Solo space flights, hey, me first, or race you, there's not enough space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, we can upgrade com Hi, cosmic I'm expansion. Nally. At a jumbo university, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone. Let's go with the default for now. That's the jumbo touch. Especially since we jumbo need at least one more assistant. Be your biggest self. More personal hygiene. Janitor oh. needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Okay, we've got one assistant who can do first aid. But let's get someone who can be a librarian. I have excellent personal hygiene. There you go in the library. Okay, at long last, let's bring in our students. Oh. Recently, the county has been positively peppered by funny little meteors. The other day, one of them almost took my face off. Finding out what they are and where they're coming from is the campus's top research priority. Crunch that data, science people. Let's make some money. Complete strange meteors research project. 
Strange, fragrant meteors have been falling from the sky as of late. Oh, the odor out of space. Investigate whether we should be concerned or pleased by cracking them open and having a look inside. Okay. That's proceeding rather quickly. Here come our students. I see some people in helmets. Astronaut, ready to drift off at a moment's notice. They're well equipped in there. Oh, uses their built-in toilet. Okay, well that's cool. Moving into the dorms, enjoying the student lounge. Cosmic Expander, casting a wide net for the site of their next startup or holiday home. Oh, goodness. Well, let's see where people are headed to. They seem to be headed to the uh, anti grav room. Our monthly profit is not great so far, but our research is proceeding well. Oh yeah, look at that! It's water! Uh, this is... Whoa! <laughs> this... Okay, we've got the report back on those meteors. It turns out they're full of a valuable cheese-like substance. That explains the smell. Intriguing. It's amazing what you can do with research. Remember, your research equipment is like your ship's engine or its shields or something else the campus doesn't actually have. That's how important it is. Run commercial research projects to profit directly from your teacher's academic prowess. Generate new commercial projects by allowing staff to work freely in a research lab. Cosmic expansion students may also find certain opportunities through their exclusive connections and improve the prestige. Okay. Sir Nigel Bickleworth laughing at you, not with you. I'm gonna shut up Nigel again, just to mention that yes, this this has some basis in reality. Uh, astronauts actually do train for low G environments in water tanks. Your point radio. We can all do with an occasional chuckle. It keeps the blood fizzy and the vitals convivial. So I present to you this next piece of music that is sure to give us all a good long laugh. <laughs> all right, ready to launch. All right, grainy moonshots. <laughs> you need a records cubicle. Sure thing. Can't fit it there. There's too much stuff in here. There you go. Okay, what else is going on? We don't like mice. I guess if they're gonna eat all our cheese. Ah, mining. These must be the cosmic expansionists. They're all a bunch of tech bros. Telepathic aliens. Uh, let's see. Cosmic power wash. On other, some would say, more civilized planets, they make fun of humanity for our rudimentary cleansing technologies. Aliens just don't feel clean after using a shower. All right, well, let's start. Here comes some of those meteors they were talking about. If your research is correct, there are valuable materials inside. Hmm, what next? What would Captain Cushion do? 
he'd probably send someone that isn't crucial to the plot to avoid unnecessarily devastating casualties. Try that. Mine one space rock. Ah, and our janitors can do that. Or rather, a janitor who can mine things. Oh goodness. Fragrant space rock. Oh, okay. I guess uh, better mining skill will help you mine it, but it's not necessary. Okay, we need to earn money like research, mine 15 space rocks, and oh boy, better dorms, better grades. Okay, well let's um, let's work on those better dorms. Fallen space rocks will combust after a short time on campus, but they contain a valuable substance. <laughs> oh, sorry, wasn't that terrible? Ah, oh, I needed that. On the Nigel. subject of laughing, and indeed needing, I see that many of our county's students are petitioning for additional reading materials. Frankly, I find it very funny. If you didn't already possess all of the course materials, why would you start the course? How bizarre. <sighs> uh, okay, they contain a valuable substance that can be salvaged by janitors and sold for cash. Train janitors to higher levels of the space mining qualification for faster salvage. Some space rocks may even contain rare cosmic artifacts. Ooh. Janitor required in Earth. All right, well, let's dress up these dorms a bit. First of all, where's our flag? It's not a real college dorm unless people have these plastered all over. What are some nice in-theme items? This bulletin board goes well anywhere. Right by the door. Looks good. Ooh, patterned rug. I like this. It's a nice spacey design. What other rugs are there? Flowery rug, real adult furniture. Ooh, look at some of this new art. Dimension poster. Now that's fast traveling. Yes, let's unlock that. Cheese ball poster. Ooh. Gravity poster. Must come down. Galactic Enrollment Poster. Yeah, you. We're experiencing space rocks. Oh, that's a lot. Let's make sure we have enough janitors. What's with all these lollygaggers? this one yellow. Maybe we'll find something out. Uh, but let's get some more items in here. Today on Sir Nigel Reviews, I was faced with the formidable task of critiquing the inventively named Chewy Gum. Yes, I am tasked with assessing the various merits and shortcomings of this interminable taffy. I like a jaunt and a jape as much as the next fellow, 
But I draw the line in such chewy vulgarity as this. Chewy gum. Thanks, but no thanks. Let's get a training room in here. Actually, let's, uh... Oh, you want to watch a sci-fi film? Of course you do. Love Bench Wanted. Aww. There you go. Uh, let's get a training room in here. New research project, once on a blue moon. Our astrology grades are actually pretty good, so let's just focus on our research and mining more rocks. Maybe upgrade what we can. seen anyone use this room yet, but there's plenty of time left in the year. Oh yeah, everyone loves the sci-fi movie. Space Bench. Doors, all right. You can't have an extension. Oh, here come the meteors. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. <laughs> uh, people want to join clubs. Now, I believe there should be a new one. So we may need to unlock it. Uh, in the absence of any new ones, let's just set up a book club. That way people will just learn faster. Expanding to these domes. Of radio voyage. If you're just tuning in, then I am sorry, but like ships in the night, we pass for only the briefest of nautical moments. Perhaps we'll meet again in some distant port. Perhaps you'll get your act together and tune in earlier tomorrow. Who knows? I've been Captain Bittleworth, writing ships, dropping anchors, and running out of sailor talk on Two Point Radio. Ahoy! People want a statue of love. There you go. You want a dimension poster in a place where you can see it. There you go. See if there's any other small piece of equipment we can add to this gym. How desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Maybe another bike. No, 
that won't quite fit. We can just expand the gym. Give you a better view than a water cooler. Okay, we're mining more rocks. Cosmic expansion bookcase. Slightly narrow passages there, but we'll make it work. Oh, good grief. I think we need more bins. New item unlocked cosmic power wash. Okay, well, let's. Um... Oh, interesting. That was a. Uh... That was for an item. Well, let's go with a, um, a commercial project. We'll get us a bunch of money. One of Two Point's oldest astrological documents describes a blue moon. It was lovely, apparently. Discover when we can next expect to see one by mapping the county's celestial history. All right, let's go. So would this be an upgrade for our shower room, then? Or is it something you put elsewhere? Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Well, we can get a cosmic shroom for a plant. Remove stardust and moon mud. Interesting. And it goes outside. I'm going to put it here and see if anyone uses it. It might not be actually useful till later, but we'll see. Park bench. I've already given you like other benches. and safety inspection. Janitor needed in medical office. <laughs> We've got a school full of bench warmers. Where's their initiative? Well, I'm sure whoever wanted the love bench is taking some kind of initiative. Oh, rocket lab. Let's see how this goes. It's an outdoor mission control. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Oh, they're it's building Harrison it. Wolf going to the county sock drawer on Two Point Radio. I just had a very big sleep, so it's going to be a lively one. I 
There we go. Aha! Yep, there's a rocket. I wonder if we get to see it take off. Meanwhile, let's uh, let's start retraining some people. Let's make sure we have more people who can do research, since that's important here. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Galactic arcade game. That's new. It's tic tac toe. Though the, the hexagons make it look slightly like Kadaskot, the board game that Seven of Nine and Naomi Wildman enjoyed playing on Star Trek Voyager. Ooh, class for astronauts. Here come the space rocks. <laughs> you want a flat flower planter? Those are popular. Every single campus, somebody wants one of those. Passing our health inspections, that's also good news. stuff in a can and when the opportunity presents itself you gotta cram as much of it in you as possible that's just sensible healthy living you can't have too much of a good thing that's why they call it a good thing when i was young i used to stand right next to the speakers and drink it in until i couldn't hear a thing <laughs> that's how i knew i was full Jasmine Space Odyssey. Pop star Jasmine Odyssey has been thinking about taking a trip into space. She'd like us to simulate the journey and suggest a time or a phase of the moon when it would be the least dangerous and most picturesque. All right. Oh, there goes the rocket. Cool. Here come the space rocks again. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. cycle for the rocket lab. We'll see what that does later. Oh, existing item cannot be reached. Well, we'll look at that in a moment. We've leveled up a lot of astrology students. How'd we do? Alright, 25 continuing. Good grades. Looks good. 
Machine that goes bleep. Okay. Existing item cannot be reached. Working with the two-point space program isn't your typical academic operation. Not that I'd know. Some of the grounds are top secret, so you'll need to grease their backs and scratch their palms if you want access and more space for the campus. Ooh. Some campus plots do not need to be bought, but are unlocked by completing special objectives. Select a plot and select the Start Objective button. Alright, so we've done this sort of thing before. I was at University the other day. It's all a little peaceful for my liking. Sure, I can respect the vibe, but sometimes you gotta ruffle some feathers. When I was at school, they took away mashed potato Tuesdays. So, a few of us got into the school mascot's coop. Someone's and boy, backing up a did vehicle. we ruffle that chicken. It was all friendly, of course, but they knew we meant business. Just some food for thought, my student comrades. Go get your mashed potatoes. All right, well, let's expand into these domes. And sadly, I think we're going to have to take out this fountain. Let's go ahead and queue up the objective. Let us upgrade these two courses. We need a lot more new stuff. And we need an astrology teacher and a cosmic expansion teacher. So one of each, really. We need copies of a few things. Rocket Lab. Let's see if we can put it on the grass. A little far away from everything, but it'll do. The academic year is now over. Okay, we can start whenever we like. Active plot objectives will appear alongside other objectives. That's cool. That's exactly how it worked in Two Point Hospital. Let us make sure everyone's had a good summer. Oh, and let's make sure we give this a name because someone new has followed the channel. New to the Crumley student range, unfoldable pizza. Yeah. James It'll fill Bass. you up without filling up your cupboards. Oh yeah. Crumley's unfoldable pizza. It's a fraction the size of your average Launch frozen pad. pizza. Whoa. And when it's unfolded, well, we you've go. got yourself a whole pizza. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Everyone's very happy. Oh, it's a reaction game. You're a networker, but you're shy. Hm. All right, let's go. And let's queue up some training. Uh, let's... The time 
Make sure our teachers are good. Schedule your lives accordingly. Ah, the dormitory rating is dropping because we have more people having to share their rooms. Let's get some more dorms out this way. So either an ineffective networker or an anxious effective networker. Well, uh, there's a really cool book that I like called Networking for People Who Hate Networking. Uh, it's by Devorah Zak, and it it really lays out how you can still do effective networking even if you're if you're uh, very introverted and don't necessarily find the concept of networking to be all that appealing. Can we just copy some more rooms? Got someone special, but nothing special enough to do with them. Now I know how all those poets felt. Here, you can have a rose garden. In fact, let's give you two rose gardens. That looks really pretty. You want a hot dog kiosk? Okay, well we can put that, like, here. Let's hire someone to run it. Research. Dud Moon. Jumbo McNally recently funded a private journey to a distant moon, but apparently it was really boring. We'll make things better, all right? How's it going? You're listening to Two Point Radio, the most popular station in the greater Two Point County area. Nice. We're serving more great radio with a side of insidious advertising. Right after this. <laughs> you want a sci-fi film? Sure. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Ah, some people getting not great grades. You need the first aid's office. Floaty head. Common in astronauts. <laughs> that, of course, being a reference to the bloaty head illness from the original theme hospital. Ah, our average grades are not so great anymore. Maybe we need to be more selective. go. People are getting their assignments done. Cosmic expansion goal. Well done.
You want a pull-up bar in the gym? Sure. Just saw us get 10k of money from that space rock. The mayor's gonna come visit. students' grades stay good. As long okay. time listeners will know, I have a wide range of hobbies and interests, but jogging isn't one of them. I mean, think about it. Going around and around a track or a park Wee. in an endless, exhausting loop to feel satisfaction? If you ask me, it's just another trick that big business uses to train our brains into total subordination. I'm sitting down, man. There's no moving me. <laughs> There we go. We've unlocked Cape Shrapnel. Oh boy. Did you think before blasting off laterally into space travel, your small step has created one giant load of work for all of us at the Department of Education. They said this industry was full of selfless individuals, but I suppose we can cross you off the list. Oh boy. New event, Eggvoss Cressley and a flight simulator item. Cool. Alright, well what next? Earn money by selling cosmic artifacts. Okay, we'll just keep mining rocks to do that. A-grade cosmic expansion classes. Upgrade 10 items. And high student happiness. Okay. Ooh, a crazy taxi machine. Sure. Uh, you need moon on a stick. There you go. Well, in order to upgrade some of these items, we're going to need to actually research the upgrades to our equipment. So let's do that. And we'll upgrade other things that we can do already. Cosmic Expansion students are going to come visit. You want a flight simulator? It's just a hallway item. Suppose we put it here. Let's see if someone comes and uses it. Oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> cool. So it's a flight simulator, but it's essentially a video game console. That's awesome. Bongo gets a lot of praise in the press. I just don't think it's healthy for something, anything, to get talked about in such a positive light. 
makes my eyebrows uncomfortable. Sure, they've been responsible for a lot of so-called technological advances, and some of you might love your automatic toilet paper dispensers, but I was doing just fine on the toilet. Thank you very much. Warp speed on an airbound jet. Yeah, seriously. I guess no one ever said it was a realistic flight simulator. But then this is Two Point County, so... Realistic, you know, may not be... What you and I think it is. We are getting cheesy asteroids. You know, or meteors. Okay, there's an upgraded lectern. Let's upgrade it again. Oh! We trained enough staff members and now we're automatically getting this plot. Okay, well, farewell to the nice fountain. You got bookworms in the library, oh dear. Ah, someone needs pastoral care. All right, let's get the pastoral care room in. We don't have any yet, so let's tuck one back behind the dorm. got at least one person who can do that. No, we don't. <laughs> Marnie Lovecraft. Uh, you drop litter though, so no. I was gonna ask what you thought of the meteors. You can do marketing. Let's hire you, but let's immediately train you for pastoral support. All right, I am out of here. Oh, wow, that's a lot I of rocks. You all have a righteous rest of your day. And that the constant fear of alien abduction, natural disaster, and revolutionary upheaval doesn't stop you from having a fine, restful evening. <laughs> Hopefully there's a next time. Hopefully. Sure. Announcement. The campus just got bigger. Not necessarily better. I think we can use some more teachers. There we go. 
You need a climbing wall, sure. Plunk. Come on, get up there. Announcement. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. Oh, select an artifact and use the sell item button to trade it for some cash. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what happens when the next round of space rocks comes in. I thought we were doing that automatically because I saw money, but I guess that's maybe the cheesy substance and not an actual artifact. Need a high jump. Oh, this is big. We're gonna need a bigger gym. Okay, we're not having an actual class in here right now, so I'm gonna pause this and move the gym. Don't think a pickaxe would be helpful to most artifacts. Well, you gotta... You gotta get the artifact out of the meteor, presumably. Bench goes over there. Let's get... Yes, let's get the high jump. There you go. Okay. Fragrant space rock. Fragrant space rock. Who's a big one? Big fragrant space rock. Big ones, especially. Okay, we have the Anti Gravity Simulator Two. Let's. Oh, we can upgrade the research hub. And we can work on Rocket Project 2. Go. Oh, there's an artifact. Yeah, I think the big ones must have these in them. Cosmic Artifact. Well, that's cool. Well, we'll let these accumulate, and then we'll sell as many as we need to. I guess these two are the same. They're so cool, though. And they increase attractiveness. They're like the ones we were digging up from Earth. And I do think we could use more janitors. pastoral care. Good for you. I'm still happy to have this person training so they can go off shift and not leave us with no one. There we go. Astrology open day. Uh, profits are not great. Maybe we should 
do some commercial projects the after this. On Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? <laughs> really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. <laughs> we'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. <laughs> Seriously, though, shortbread dunked in tea? Best thing ever? Aha! More artifacts, perhaps. Oh, they're all small ones. Ooh, spacesuit rack. Weather report. It's raining space rocks. Oh, that's cute. Let's make sure the other one has it too. Adds to learning power. Well, we seem to have a happy campus overall. People love the book club. What's our next, uh, Expansion goal. That just takes money. This one just takes money. Ah, now you do have to select the objective, and one reason for that is clearly so that you'd actually be able to select which of these you wanted. Because if this automatically unlocked once there's 80 students on campus, you wouldn't be able to get the one you wouldn't be able to get the with buildings option okay well I don't feel like I want to go for those yet Janitors are so busy with those space rocks. Why is They're it? They're not the fixing today things. Believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. The call. In my day, one had to work for years making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. Here's our digital server. Gravity poster. There you go. Each of those two plots only covers half of the Apple campus building. Yeah, it, it does kind of look like the big Apple spaceship building, doesn't it? You want a no trespassing sign for the rocket lab? Okay. Put it where it can be seen from outside. Famously intolerant. It does increase learning power, so let's stick it in the other one. That's the other thing our janitors are busy with. They're they're busy upgrading all these items.
No more time in the year for your movie, I'm sorry. Okay, how'd we do? 10 graduating, 50 continuing, well done. We need another astrology teacher and we need a lecture hall. there. Technically yes, but let's not. It's kind of a nice space. Slightly bigger room. Upgrade everything. Uh, you need the astrology bookcase. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. <laughs> it's a cute bookshelf. Let's see what the cosmic expansion one looks like. nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, <laughs> I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap at the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. <laughs> All right. Let's schedule another round of training. The game is really looking at our cosmic expansion stats, so let's get those teachers trained. Training the librarians will also make our students smarter, as will restricting librarian duties to the people who should be there. Upgrade the training pod. Uh, right, time isn't actually passing because it's summer. Uh, we have 60 course points. Let's upgrade both courses. For that, we need another anti-grav chamber. Those are huge. Maybe we do need to expand a bit. We've got plenty of money now. Uh, 
Okay. This room is slightly better outfitted, so let's copy this one. everyone doing this summer? Doing great. Everyone's very happy here. New to the Crolly Student Range, instant casserole. You want a warming meal, but you've not got all day. Come on! With Crumley's new instant casserole range, you just add water, and you've got something a lot like casserole. Just like Mama used to make. Student happiness is down a bit. We may need to expand the dorms. That's helping a bit. sure people have food out in these areas. Big ones, though. Well, maybe there are small artifacts. That one's sparklier than the others. Let's, let's prior. Let's see if we can prioritize them. Does it make a difference? there but not actually going. Okay, we finished that research project. Oh, we got research. Okay. And yeah, these do decay after a while. So we do want to go to for all the news and the controversy is surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. The stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one. These get. Assistant to the library. 
We got money from those, but that doesn't count as selling artifacts. It must just be the cheese. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Loads of money. Okay, we can't upgrade the anti-grav simulator again quite yet. We can upgrade this lectern. Achievement unlock. Say, cheese? This one's sparkly. Students traveling long distances for their assignment should try moving faster. What does this one turn out to be? Research. I think some of the janitor pathing for these meteors is not the best. relationship of ours and that's how it should be what do you know about radio after all almost <laughs> nothing i'd imagine still it's time for that rare occasion where we put you the listener at the center of things i am the aunt to ease your agony the balm to abate what bites you the a to all your cues i am listening oh and we're out of time we'll get to your problems after this all right all right Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Ah. Campus is not responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. All right. Which ones should we call people to? Go for the special ones. There's a big one. the big one because that probably has an actual artifact in it yep there's another monolith Port is fine. What's dragging people's happiness down? 
someone needs medical care. another medical office. We can put it way out here. It's time for Agony Answers with me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. Actually. This week's problem is from student Felony Bogdropper who writes, I've got loads of work, but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Well, Felony, I advise that you try a change of scenery. Work in the study, write in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill, why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. Utilize all of its <laughs> many, many nooks and crannies. That's what got me through the hard times. <laughs> We've only got one first aid person. Got a new anti grav simulator. Let's research Rocket Project 3. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. I'm going to add some more food over here. Ones, those are the ones we need to worry about the most. sci-fi film Janitor required in you need a digital console ah yeah see now you need that digital computer we can fit it right over there. Let's just make sure people aren't suffering because of not having dorms. What you hear? Of course you do. So why not call in? Of course Let you do. Producers know 
Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral Johnnies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by <laughs> someone, somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. Oh, get someone over to this big Students one immediately. Reminded, but some grades are personal. And this one. And this shiny one. You want training. Well, let's get you aerodynamics. That goes well with everything. Okay, we've definitely upgraded enough items. We need a couple more A-grade classes. And let's go ahead and start selling these. Four artifacts does it. So all we need now are a couple of A-grade classes. And the mayor's here. of monthly profit because we sold all that stuff. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Okay, this is an astrology class. What's going on here? Whoop. <laughs> There's a cosmic expansion class. Let's see how well they do. really. How many research rooms do we have? Just the one. Students are reminded uh, that you don't and we're to almost to done. To the toilet. I am allowing two people at once to work in it, but honestly, we've got so much money. We've been fine. There's a big one. Okay, Rocket Project 3. What else shall we look at? 
we can just keep on doing these various commercial projects. A star is worn. There's talk of a fading star in a neighboring galaxy. Let's keep an eye on it and see if it does anything cool. Sure. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Scotty Explosion, that's a great name. Campus levels up again. Ah, and we've got a couple of monoliths. Cool, let's leave him there. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. Bottoms, and you may be listening to Campus Radio. <laughs> Unfortunately, our broadcasting signal has taken a hit due to some of our equipment being prematurely recycled. One of our reporters is in a skip, looking for the parts as we speak. So, consider that colourful visual, and we'll be right back. You can upgrade all these things. Aha! Uh -huh. All we need is happiness, and we'll probably get that during summer. Here come more space rocks. Here come meteors, here come meteors. Is it gonna be another monolith? Yep. We need a plotter in the computer lab. There you go. Alright, so during summer we should get that last star. Well, the second star. Well, I mean the last thing that we need for our star. money we're getting so much of it from the space rocks all right 30 graduating 69 continuing everyone's doing well let's get all those stressed out graduates out of here Get everybody healed up. Hmm, no cue for that. Used the wrong affecting there. We go. Alright, rocket signage. New item unlocked. When I visited Universe City as a boy, my mother bought me a novelty pen that never worked properly. I could take it personally that you've sided with an institution well known for its anti-Foxbridge antics. But will I? 
It's hard to say. Okay. So now that all the stressed out grads are off the map. Oh wow, look at that. We can expand into the parking lot. Wow. I guess I didn't have to take out the fountain after all, maybe. But let's see. We're going to need a couple astrology teachers and a rocket lab. We need to earn lots of money from research. Mine 50 space rocks. Celebrate would be a convenient time Ooh. for construction. A plus grade students graduate. All right. And a high campus level. All right. So let's... Let's, um... Upgrade that. We are back, and so is our broadcasting Boost signal. our grades a bit. Thanks to Hugh for getting in the skip. By his own account, he was happy to do it, adding that the view from inside the skip offered him an entirely new perspective on campus. Now, if that's not an idea for a segment, I don't know what is. There's a lab. We need another astrology teacher. We need a lecture hall. Okay, research is going. We could add more research rooms. No, I'm I'm going to move this. Or just sell it. Yeah. Instead, let's copy this one and put it there. Upgrade this. Uh, where are people? How are our students doing? People seem to be doing fine. So let's start the year. Go. Now, if we want A-plus students to graduate, we need to improve all of our teaching. Let's actually focus on the stragglers for now. And in fact, let's give ourselves even more room to play around with. It's too many, okay. Because we've got all this money. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Club's a good one to have because we need A plus students graduating. fresh out the skip with a story about an unusually cloudy weekend for one of the county's hottest locations. Mm. 
we'll have two projects running with different requirements. Students at the Breaking Point campus were expecting a weekend full of sun, laughter, and knockabout fun. But a dark cloud has washed away their optimism, leaving them with sadness and no real use for all that sun cream. They will forecast a weekend of sun and balmy temperatures, but what they got was a drizzly and altogether grey affair. Spare a thought for them, sitting inside. Their sandals, sandless. Their skin, cool and unburnt. <laughs> Fliss, back to you. All right, well, we're leveling up the campus in various ways. Check in before trying to learn. All this improving our staff will help too. We could use another little staff room over here. Got that monster movie playing. Time on your assignments. If you think you ah. have time. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. There we go. Get more monoliths because it's fun. Though I suppose we should go for the research points too. Speaking of research, let's hire some more people. Research skill. Waiter, waiter. Oh, the service here is terrible. You could go out, or you could stay in <sighs> with a bowl of hog logs. You've tried fine dining, but this is swine dining. A lead hog log <laughs> cereal combines four times of wheat with a salty crunch of crispy bog skin. Let's train you in research as well. We could use more assistance. Oops. 
Elvira Silver. Okay, let's let's allow you to work in the library now that you're about to become specialized. Oh, okay, it automatically checked that for me. That's actually really nice. Unless I had just forgotten to uncheck it before. Now we've got enough spare teachers to work on these research projects. Prestige level 7 computer lab. I think we can handle that. Let's wait till you're done in the flight sim. I'll pause this for just a sec. Step one is we'll expand it a bit. Seven. There we go. Have been seen riding around campus in maintenance carts used by janitorial staff and the local coast guard. It's a sobering reminder to all of us that you can't take a golf cart without asking just because it's a bit cloudy. <laughs> Students are reminded that this is the fun part. More fragrant space rocks. Please join Aha. me. Doing more research. Let's see what aesthetics may do for our campus rating. I think we'd want to focus more on prestige than just aesthetics, but let's at least get this started. Upgrade these machines. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Well, let's see about adding more stuff. Let's have some ramen and some coffee and we'll hire a couple people to work there and 
some nice outdoor seating. Prestige level four. Let's bump it up a bit. Skills are not transferable. <laughs> raining little green men. Training for everyone. Inspectors coming. <laughs> Assistant needed in library. Oh, someone's using the cosmic deep clean. And that is improving their hygiene. Wow. So people can take showers outside with this thing. the learning power in here and the prestige. stuff in these rooms too. Oh, we got kudosh from that rock. Good morning. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. There you go. That'll help us get our students graduating with high grades too. what the relationship is between the Space Rocks and Tarquin Fox Bridge. Well, one of our goals for this campus in general is to research the rocks, which means mining them. I'm not sure Tarquin Fox Bridge actually approves of us being here at all. They're both related to fragrance somehow. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, he always says yours fragrantly. Oh my goodness, our new food court is crazy popular. We've all, almost got enough space rocks. This can take a new project. It's funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. <laughs> this next song is for the hog log lady. Assistant needed in library. Oh, speaking of uh, pork products traditionally consumed at breakfast, I am making a corn chowder today in the slow cooker. And honestly, the reason it's so good is because the first thing you do is dice up eight slices of bacon and fry them and all the drippings stay in. Mm, let's see. It might be nice to add another kiosk out here. If everyone loves this place, we might as well cater to what people want, where they want it. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. <laughs> Yum, yeah, seriously. It's interesting, the, the cookbook I got it from um, the best slow cooker, or slow cooker, the best cookbook ever, I think it's called. Um, it's got a bunch of kind of creamy style chowder recipes, kind of all in a row. There's the corn one, and then there's a, a few different fish-based ones. And they've all got slightly different ways of doing the soup base. So I really kind of feel like you could mix and match from the different recipes exactly what balance of everything you wanted. Okay, our campus level is expanding. Having more and better staff helps with that. one of these still? Yeah. And beyond the cure. While walking home, I was chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha, young people, eh? The terrifying scamps. <laughs> Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Please 
please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. <laughs> Alright, well let's let's expand some more. Even if all we do is throw some research out there. Maybe some more training. building. Well, that's fine. We can always add our own. We need more teachers if we want to do more research at one time. sci-fi film sure ah and because we have infinite money now what am i going to do with my life i just don't know orb huh? what come to an orb foundation learning center and replace your mind with the power of the orb oh amazing i'll do that then thanks Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. There we go. Now we can add some of these research power improving computers. Loads of prestige too. Oh, we can put in one more. 12% research power each. Want an oscillator? Now this room also can expand. Such a cool oscillator, yeah. Oh, come on. That'll get us researching faster, and hopefully it's helping our campus rating. Um, one more to move over. Maybe we can put another row. Let's take a look at the awards. 42 graduating, a nice number. 77 continuing. We're doing great. We only had seven A-plus students graduating, but we know they're getting up there and our teachers are only ever getting better. So let's see. We have 25 and 23 students coming in. Let's uh, spend all of our course points. Uh, let's Let's be 
Yeah, that little bit selective. Is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Make sure everyone has all their needs taken care of. Wait till all the graduates have filed out. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Here's the weather. Things are looking cold on the pointy mountains. You might want to wear a second pair of shoes. I suppose skis are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin toboggans. Play that music. Okay, we need to put some more entertainment around. More flight simulators, I think. That seems in character for this place. Uh, got a few people coming in for pastoral care. Also bored stiff. Table. Yes, please. What's this? It appears to be a little city. Hm. What happens if someone comes and interacts with it? Maybe we'll watch for it later. Right now, let's just make sure everyone's okay. Library requesting assistant. Okay, you're the last person who needs medical treatment, and you're just tired. So hopefully you can get that fixed soon after. <laughs> we have a monolith tucked back there. else miserable. You mostly need to go to the bathroom. Over here. Here, you all got to practice for doing golf on the moon later. Get moving. Oh, we need a rocket lab. There. Recently joined an amateur plumbing club. 
Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem. You can't make worse. Janitor needed to maintain rocket project. Uh, there we go. All right. With all those cat computers, we should be churning through research at a tremendous rate. Let's make sure we have all we need for people to get as good of grades as possible. quite infinite anymore. We have plenty of monoliths around though. Oh, and they're not even all the same shape. Go for it. That was really fast. the prestige just a little more. Ooh, chomp plant. Don't feed the plants. In the news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. Fans are debating whether this latest post is a cryptic suggestion of music to come or simply a kitchen-based mistake. It's hard to say, but what is clear is that we'll be discussing it for days. That adds a lot of prestige. Hang on. Alright, that was real fast. Gonna have a hard time keeping up with the clicks here. I guess at least some people are getting trained quickly too. Use some more assistance. 
Uh, I bet a lot of them are getting trained. Well, a couple. That's a lot of monoliths. We're kind of all over the place now. Goodness, look at all that. Well, let's maybe put another staff room out here. I feel like that's a good way just to get more staff into the vicinity. Got an astrology goal. Project done. Let's leave off that for a sec so we can start a new one. That's the end of our show, but I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Here's to that. Here's to Time's Relentless Advance. Here's to you, Two Point County. Playing us out, we've got an absolute firecracker. Good night! All right. Let's increase this room's prestige. We've got to have our tables with treats and tea. Oh, look at that. There's a cake. And it's just like the cake that we make in the culinary schools. Oh, we can put one of these in. Oh, it's two-sided. <laughs> you sunk my spaceship. What happens if we put it, like, here? Uh, what else? Eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. There you go. What are some other nice things? This funky rug. Actually, let's center it in the room instead. Or at least kind of put it in that little section. What else? What else? Research done. Ooh. Despite the rumors, the campus grounds are not a toilet. 
<laughs> Not doing too well at that high jump, are you? Search done. Guess I gotta start a new one. I it's too bad I can't just run one on a loop. have other things that are right next to them. And I don't think this is actually doing anything for the prestige of the area. Well, we got to put in a UFO. What's this? Extraordinary sculpture. Extremely out of the ordinary. All right, well, let's... Stick that there. Okay, that raised... Oh. Raised the prestige of the building. Rockstar statue, that's cool. Pumpkin trophy. Space shuttle poster. It's raining space rocks. Still going. This is campus radio and oh, I'm someone finally made it out here. Bottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theater. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. Aerodynamics for you. And while I've been poking around, maybe some other people have gotten training done. More librarians. Okay, right now our maximum library rank is 10. It might be the actual maximum. We don't often get too many people actually reaching it. <laughs> On we go. Congratulations. Research project complete. I 
sea worm. There you are. So that's the interesting thing is campus buildings also have uh, prestige levels just like the rooms do. And we can add to them. There's something kind of large and nice looking we could put in the middle. If you're just joining us, welcome to a place that totally reminds me of when I used to go to space camp. Ooh, some kind of hydroponics thing. That does look like dirt, but it could be artificial dirt. Put the fountain of knowledge outside. Let's put it here. Still haven't seen anyone do anything with this hologram table. Oh, there we go. Seems fine. You're just kind of cheering for whatever's happening. Okay. Thank you. I guess it's pretty. It doesn't necessarily have to look like anything. Or do anything. Sometimes you want to just look at a hologram and go ooh ah for a while. It's time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenured DJ. our research that's going that's going this week i've been reading a life on the waves by ricky hawthorne oh so good really really good because i didn't know before actually that he spent so much time at sea or well near any water really and that's just <laughs> super interesting Like, totally. Uh, this is already a pretty high prestige room. We already put a lot of work into this, especially since all those other things are boosting the learning power. It's already pretty good. Uh, let's pause this just a moment. We don't need this little bit here. Assistant needed in library. And that gives us room to add maybe a few more things. This hygiene poster looks good in the first aid room. Food groups posters. There we go. this training monitors really looking at that document brain jar we've all got one plus four percent learning power okay cool well let's put these monitors here let's put some brain jars here in fact since we've got all this money let's pile them in students traveling long distances for their assignment should try moving faster. Actually, let's move these over just a smidge. There we go. More research. How are you traveling? Wiggy Silverbottom is considering investing in the space industry, but before he commits a small slab of his fortune, he wants to know how comfortable space travel will be. He's grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle and needs at least 18 cups of tea a day. Let's answer those questions. Well, 
Well, you can bring tea into space. Though, good luck actually getting any. It's probably the just going to be advanced tea substitute again. Might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Our grades. Here in Smogley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. The library is alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Sniff. Ah, six in astrology is as high as we can go. Well then, time for inspirational speaking. It's cheaper anyway. get some more prestige in here. Kind of like a restroom. And a high prestige one at that. see the shadow of a plane or spaceship or something go by. level 28. Not, not quite. Still at 24. Uh, let's see if we can put in the hallways. We could use some nice seating. I did a kudosh one by mistake. Oh well. Not like it lost us much time. enough, we have never bothered to make a student union here. People don't seem to be very into partying in this campus. They haven't asked for such things. Let's At bump up our May, prestige bit. We use real dairy spoiled ingredients in our milkshakes for a level of consistency that just isn't natural. Meaning that every glass of milk made is eerily similar to the last. Mmm, wow. milk made. Now that's good milk. Not technically milk. <laughs> <sighs> Taste. 
tables. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. Perfect. And let's hire an assistant. Oh, gross. Why? You're ridiculously good at pastoral care, but you drop litter. Okay, we can bump up the prestige a bit more. The same monster movie as before. Okay, the academic year is over. We've had a lot of students graduate, so it should just take one more year. 52 graduating, 75 continuing. Well done, everyone. Okay, we can't upgrade anything. Our student intake is still perfectly manageable. So let's make sure everyone's happy. Uh, we'll wait till all the grads leave and then we'll check. How are the first aid queues looking? Ooh, queue length of three. These are starting to get a little long. Might need to add more rooms, that's okay. <laughs> Monoliths all over the place. <laughs> this is starting to look like the, uh, the surviving Mars scenario where black cubes start appearing everywhere. And they're just all over the place. It seriously is like this. And there we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theater was indeed a large piece of cheese. We're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit, though this particular source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Seriously. Sure, let's get another pastoral care room. Let's tuck it in right next to the student union. It's a little big. That's okay. There we go. Uh, you are down to a queue length of zero. Janitor is needed to collect litter. Let's get pastoral support done as well.
And all the usual suspects. get through. This is only a prestige level two. Let's see what we can do about that. artwork. Okay, you're getting done what you need to. You're just tired, but you're getting that fixed. I love how people crawl in from the bottom. There's a bathroom right there. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, let's get going. Although, speaking of the bathroom... Bump up the prestige of this one. Research rooms running. Probably have enough students graduate this time. So I'm mostly concerned about our campus level. doesn't need to be here. Yes, these are just kind of some odd shaped corridors. This was the area that the game set up at the beginning. Well, let's put this here. It's a fun Sanitary little thing in the corner you can go find. Just about to finish all our research goals. There we go. Frankly, I'd just as soon have those teachers freed up for other things. Ah, six is our maximum for cosmic expansion. Inspirational speaking, it is then. It's the Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. Hey, this is Harrison Wolf, and thanks for stopping by. 
Today, we're going to be talking about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. The one thing you need when things are getting hairy. You hear something funny outside, or you're just hiding from the milkman. That's right. Today, we're talking panic rooms. OMG. Oh no, let's not have them misaligned. There. Pastoral issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian. Looks good. Good. Now I think our rocket labs, yeah, those could use some prestige. We're a little more limited as to what can go in them. The it has teeth. Ugh. worse than the lamprey mouth over there. Yikes. No fairy lights at the launch pad? Well, we've got these lights. We don't need heaters. I could put a hedge around, but that wouldn't do anything for the prestige inside the room. There's not a whole lot we can do since it's an outdoor space. I mean, I could put in another no trespassing sign, I guess. Doesn't do a whole lot. If I want it to be higher prestige, I'd probably have to make it bigger, which I have plenty of room to do. And we have Attack of the Mushroom People, who actually look a lot like popovers. Well, I guess that would do it. Staff are reminded that you may be fired at any time. Thank you. Tazter, thank you for the follow. I'm gonna grow this out just a little bit. Let's call this... Tazter's launch pad. There we go. Let's arrange Everything these a little nicer. The panic room starts with its supplies. Now some things are a must. Your crackers, your flashlight, your bottles of water, sure. But don't be afraid to show some personality. I, for one, keep a bowling ball in my panic room. I find it's the perfect place to practice. Career goal completed. Oh! This is new! Will a second launch pad fit? Uh, we could try that. Um, it's a classroom. So it's not like we could have two classrooms in the room at the same time. It, it's just occurred to me, we didn't used to get career goals in the inbox like this. They would just pop up, but only very briefly. So this is actually really nice to make sure that we actually see them happening. That's something that they must have changed with the DLC. Aha, now people are asking for pop stars because we have a stage for them now. Yes, thank you, Tazster. Glad you're having fun. Uh, let's see. Still training. More people branching off into inspirational speaking. Tim is getting up to a third rank in that almost. I'm gonna also start having people train in other things because I don't I don't think we're actually gonna have any problem graduating enough A plus students. 
and any of our staff who can improve will improve our campus level. I'd kind of prefer to kind of spam these items that'll help the learning power. Oh, but we need to upgrade this rocket project. What's the info on this? We'll fly eventually. Game is hiccuping a little bit. This one's got lots of room to expand. Still five. Nothing says I can't add more of them. It's all right, it doesn't have to line up vertically. What now? Still five, okay. <laughs> it doesn't want me. It is probably diminishing returns past a certain point. Can we put another moon on a stick? There we go. There's another kudosh project. Now, when it comes to surveillance, we don't I'm need research anymore. An we just don't. I'm camera kind of guy. My philosophy is I can't see you, you can't see me. So I like to keep things as low tech as possible. I'd recommend strategically placed strings attached to some bells. You hear a ring, and you got yourself a visitor. Of course, Sometimes it's the doorbell, and you really do have a visitor. <laughs> if you want to get real crafty, just leave a load of rakes in your yard. No one suspects a rake in the yard, but you'll hear the sucker when he steps on one and takes a handle to the chops. Ouch. And we can move this room, too. And I am moving the room rather than building a new one or copying one of these larger ones because if I did that, I'd have to re-upgrade the machine again. level though. This is a low prestige room. Definitely need some brain jars. Oh wow, that brings up the prestige a lot. Or at least some dorm rooms, also true. We haven't necessarily done a pass on them. Uh, this shower room and this first aid room could use some work. What am I supposed to do for a shower room? Never been washed, oh no. Not 
not a whole lot I can do for this room. I think the shower room is just kind of doomed. Just plants in the shower room. Oh dear. Schoolwork. Moron. Social life. Loser. Exercise. Coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. Here we go. There's a prestige four. I feel like this student lounge could probably... Well, it's level 6. That's not bad. Let's uh, give him a nice rug in the entry. Just a few more of these little fun items. Ooh. That's a bit big. Definitely kegs, though. There we go. Level 7, looking good. Now, this one... This dorm room... We can maybe bump up to 5 if we have lots of nice things to add. Though I did come through and put some things in already. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Yeah, that poster there, that wasn't there originally. All this socializing out into the courtyard. Announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Let's get some smoothies in. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. We got lots of people who are ready for inspirational speaking training. Gonna get us some more outdoor seating for this courtyard. Seagull in a space stack? What? Okay, we at least need to read what that is. Bungle have lost another of their orbiting tracking gulls in a space storm. Use its last known Here's coordinates and see if we can find Gyro it. And Duckworth. No thanks. What are some of your favorite panic room pastimes? Well, thanks for the question, Gyro. I find that you can have a lot of fun with a little bouncy ball. In fact, one time I was bouncing, lost track of time, and it turned out that I've been doing it for 16 hours. I went cold turkey after that, meaning <laughs> I was hungry and took a turkey sandwich out of the freezer. Mmm. Turkey. That actually does sound really good right now. Ah, bookworm. There you are. Oh, no, I don't want two the same. 
Uh, let us put in... More lovely pictures. Let's see if we can get all the way up to rank six. Library requesting assistant. Can we put a circuit board in here? Yes, we can. Doesn't take up a lot of space, but it provides a big effect. It's not unlike the certificates in Two Point Hospital. Good. Some students have a long way to travel. Is that their problem or ours? Students are reminded to set reminders. Well, let's see. just bring in more people. That would probably get it done relatively easily. I had kind of restricted our numbers a bit to bump up our GPA, but I don't think that's going to be an issue after this year's graduation cycle. about just opening another chunk of land. That might do it too. I think I had I had thought that I had seen earlier that just buying the land doesn't do a whole lot on its own necessarily. But once you add stuff to the buildings, that has a much stronger effect. Students but it might be enough to just buy the land. We can try that. This guy always looked kind of like an astronaut to me. So let's see where we can go. Uh, we cannot buy this parking lot space. We can buy this one. Upgrade a course to level 5 or 6. Okay, that's kind of a big deal. This one we can just buy. So let's try it. Here's one for the more advanced panickers amongst you. It's important to be one step ahead. What do I mean by that? Well, you could do a number of things. You could have a trap door for sneaky getaway. You could <laughs> install your panic room in a hall of mirrors. Or you could hang a sign on the door that says, out for lunch. <laughs> they won't always hit him. Truly the advice we need. Well, we've got some incredible teachers here, at the very least. And crazy good librarians. Okay, so that fills that in. Didn't do much for our level just having the buildings, though.
We could try f just filling them with interesting things. Maybe another student lounge. Maybe just random decor items. Announcement. The campus just got bigger. Not necessarily better. This seems a little cheesy. Now we might need the space if we let more students in. We might need to put class related stuff there. So let's see what happens. Oh, we got to level 27 somewhere in there. And all this training is helping. Is there additional research that adds to level? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, we just got 27. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Everything is money or kudosh. See. We do seem to have a bit of an assistant shortage again. Let's take one more question before we wrap up here. Hmm, here's a good one. What type of wood would you recommend for the furniture in your panic room? Well, you can't go wrong with oak. That baby's a <laughs> classic for a reason. Me, personally, I like maple. It's heavy, and I like the added water resistance. Plus, it's fun to say. Maple. Huh. Now, where's that first student lounge? Let's copy it. Let's expand it a bit. <laughs> you think his panic room needs padded walls, not fancy wood grains. Well, oak is at least sturdy. We can be sure of that. That's a high prestige student lounge. What are some other things we can add? I mean, just throwing in another research room might do it. It's kind of silly and arbitrary, but it might work. We don't actually need anyone to hoof it out over here. There's another monolith. I mean, that's a high prestige room. Students with pastoral issues should go to student support. There we go. There's 28. The vending machines have often been a part of a level up. So all we need now is for a few students to graduate. If we hadn't been quite to 28, 
when summer hit, I would have just let in more students and we would have figured something out early in the year. So this is a little smoother, but either way, I think we would have been in a good place. Wow, a lot of people want tutoring. We have plenty of teachers for it. Your brand new panic rooms. Don't forget to take a radio so Harrison can come along for the ride. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, but Harrison, can't they track me with the frequencies? And the answer is probably yes, but the Harrison Wolf Show is worth the risk. Happy hiding, listeners. Wow. Education is non refundable. I'm a little surprised that's the order his priorities are in, but maybe I shouldn't be. Not responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. Almost summer. looking good and we didn't even have to get rid of all the rockets or the big spaceship building there we go Ooh, telescope we've not assessed the facilities on other planets not yet anyway so i can only cram you with faint praise your space institute is undoubtedly the best within a five mile radius i really mean that thank you tarquin foxbridge we get a telescope. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. There you go. Ooh, entertainment. Cool, how'd we do? Fifty graduating, seventy-five continuing. People have fantastic grades. Everything looks pretty good. Off our grads go. And we've got monoliths just everywhere. Which is the best thing, I think. Yes, let's get out to the map. Just enough cooks, I like that. I love the look of that place. Let's see what Cape Shrapnel is like. Wow, look at all those lights. University. <laughs> okay, Cape Shrapnel. Take over two points recently founded Space Academy and prepare for contact with aliens. Sure. that in this art these are more explicitly billboards hmm. and there's no rocket I'm blasting off again <laughs> the red shirt is back oh well of course you know there's always going to be another one Though I don't know, they're, they've got enough of an Ahura vibe, they're probably relatively safe. It seems like everybody wants to take a trip in space. Personally, I'm not sure to fancy it. You see, I do like to know my way around. And in space, there's no up or down, no north and south. And I can't tell my asteroids from my elbow. 
You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne, scared and disorientated on Two Point Radio. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Students are reminded to bounce back from heart-wrenching disappointment. The county has opened its doors to its fledgling space academy, but it launched with a fizzle and no satisfying bang. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. They've struggled for word of mouth from this offshore locale and need to generate some buzz about outer space. Two Point needs your help on the front lines of galactic defense and interdimensional diplomacy. Promote the space industry and prepare the county for foreign life. The aliens are coming. Look busy. So we have Space Academy for our first course and Space Night School for our second. Oh, look at this place. I can't believe it. They totally copied my show. I better be getting all sorts of royalties for this. Anyway. Here at the Two Point Space Academy. Well, if we have a transporter accident, maybe we'll manage it. Here at the Two Point Space Academy, they want people to get excited about space. Typical season one stuff, am I right? They'll take a random sample of the county population your students should do, and you'll receive funds based on the amount of space buzz. Why not start by building a few facilities that fans of my show may find familiar? As seen on TV. Alright, we get a battle space room. Oh, fun. Oh, there's the new club. Time Tourism Stand. We have Space Night School. All right, and this is giving us another blank start. So yes, those are the are the uh, billboards. Star are reminded <laughs> to be inspirational. Meat wizard looks good. Okay, yeah, so no rocket, but we've got all that space to expand into. For now, we've just got these two buildings. Right. Command room. Become confident in space from the comfort of wherever this is. Okay. Six by six. Let's expand it a smidge more. Oh, check that out. Anything else we can add to this? And education is priceless. <laughs> Satellite mixed signals. Command desk, the safest seat in the operation. Command panel asks for directions. Oh, look at that. It looks all L carsy. Look at that. Yeah, and this is a proper Sputnik. Put that there. Okay. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Conflict is universal, apparently. Congratulations! Four by four? You found me. Oh. It's the Wolf Man, Harrison Wolf, bringing you the truth from an undisclosed location here on Two Point Radio. Let's start thinking some radical thoughts while you listen to a piece of pre-digested popular music. All right? All right. Space Knight armor in its original packaging. Space combat target. You can beat it. Space Knight polisher. Space Knight station. Overwrite your software. Is it regeneration alcove? Let's leave that for now. Ooh, new event unlocked. Space battle. Very nice. Okay. We need a lecture hall. I've clearly 
cleared something. Ah, kudosh. We have both earned and spent kudosh. So we get more kudosh. And we will need some dorms. Well, let's let's manage our courses first. We have 40 course points. Let's ease into it though. So we have Space Academy. Three years, okay. Stepping aboard, don't press anything. Like a big car, flying in space. And friend or foe, alien civilizations. Second year is, give me that hat, I'm the captain now. Zwap, the sound of violence. And unfriendly fire, evasive maneuvers and standing still. Third year is, oh geez, sticky space scenarios. Oh these the spacecraft's secret buttons, and, oh please, universal persuasion for diplomats. Beautiful. Space Night School, we have first year, enter the planetary ring, Mullen void, what do you mean nothing, and a boundless vacuum clearing space in your mind. Second year is two to the face, that hurt twice. Brain straining space night training. And just dodge, fella. Stop hitting yourself. Third year is mind games. I knew you were thinking that. Resistance training. No, I mustn't. And taking a swing if all else fails. Very nice. Students are reminded to figure it out themselves. I'm sure our students will perform honorably. Okay, now before I do anything, I'm gonna Let's make this a, just a little nicer. The news is like tea leaves or constellations, or when you find a singular glove on a fence post in the park, you can't look at it straight on. You gotta read between the lines. So when I say people in Hogsport can expect some minor flooding over the next week. What am I really saying? Think about it. There we go. Oh, what's the climate like here? Temperate. Oh, thank you. We'll have space cadets at last. Yes, definitely. Academy teacher, Holly Pillow. There we go. And let's get. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Yeah, let's. Someone with some space mining skill, just in case. And I'm sure we'll need a library. Let's make it a nice big one. Room to expand. Is there a Space Academy bookcase? Space Academy bookcase, a mixture of science fiction and science fact. <laughs> okay, we've got glowy weapons and we've got the three divisions. Though they, uh, they seem to have assigned blue to command, which is the only color that Star Trek hasn't used there. Um, we need some 
study kiosks. I see Jumbo Magnali is sticking with the hard sell on the humbly named Jumbo University. If I was looking for an education, it sure wouldn't be from that guy that sells the nuts. That information, unlike Jumbo University, was totally free. You're welcome, listeners. Library requesting assistant. Okay, well, we'll get someone who can be a ship's counselor later. Oh, we need another Space Academy teacher. Very well. Okay, bring him in. Now taking students for Space Academy. Here at Cape Shrapnel, you'll receive funding. To change sides, please. <laughs> you'll receive students funding trying to learn. from the Academy based on how much space buzz you're able to whip up. Keep our students as entertained as possible for maximum buzzage and to make loads of money. Schedule okay. So we need high entertainment. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. If it's a frenzy you're after, why don't you host a sci-fi convention? Buzz is my character's middle name. No, really. And fans have been known to react with sudden and delirious glee. Oh, and you'll need to add a convention booth to your student union if you want big shots like me to risk venturing into public. Remember, sudden and delirious. Okay, so we'll need a student union with cool stuff. Questions. You can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you. Let's make sure we get some entertainment. Let's give him a flight simulator. See who we've got here. Aw, teddy bear. We've got stormtroopers of some kind, and we've got Star Trekky types. Let's see, can I copy this? Looks very crowded. Well, it's always crowded right at first. Even more than usual. Announcement, please hand in your lasers. I want to go. Because when people first check into their rooms, they often will stop by the wardrobe. So I don't think that reflects the level of crowding that we'll see later. Let's see what's going on in our academic rooms. Ah, here we go. Traitor! You want to make stacks of easy cash, but reading about stocks is really boring. <laughs> Invest in Bungle Coin. It's like other fictional cryptocurrency, but with 40% less saturated fat. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, we've got a giant motion simulator. Oh, and the satellite is more like a droid than a satellite. That's great. I'm just getting used to my programming. <laughs> ah, you you need a command desk. Sure. Okay, well, you are all having fun. We need a student union. Student union? Yes, the milkshakes. Let's make it a nice big one so we have room for a stage. Plus whatever the convention needs. Uh, 
Okay, we have a stage and a convention booth. No autographs. Oh goodness. Milkshake should be consumed in moderation. No binge milking. That is elaborate. So we've got Roderick Cushion. We've got a blue alien. Somebody else. There's a cat. And some other human. Okay, cool. Run a sci-fi convention event. Okay. Eggvos Cressley. <laughs> okay, sci-fi convention. Uh, the original cast of Two Point's favorite televised space adventure, A Taste of Space are still traveling the convention circuit. Roderick Cushion plays a swashbuckling Space Academy captain with a knack for resolving any galactic issues neatly within a half an hour broadcast window. Of course. We're back, but I was never really gone. What do you think I do while you're all listening to music? You probably think I eat a biscuit or go for a little walk, and sure, sometimes I do do that, but in a different sense, nothing could be further from the truth. Here's some more music while I do something totally unexpected. I need to move this over. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Frequently asked questions? Yes. Classes are technically optional, and so is failing. Sci-fi convention starting in the student union. Be warned. Space night invasion. Uh-oh. Quick, get people with security. Space Knight. Over the years, countless Space Knights have turned from well-meaning peacekeepers into anti-social tools. Being alone in space clearly has that effect on people. It's dark out there. Sci-fi convention starting now. Confirm. <laughs> the library is not your home, nor your home a library. Okay, well, we've got the crew here, including that cat person. Announcement. Shouldn't you be working? Campus is not responsible for meteors or any other celestial shrapnel. Thank you. Your students do a lot of walking, don't they? How dull. Movies look different now. On my show, space cadets teleport everywhere they go. Look into that, would you? I'm no scientist, but it can't be that hard. New research project available. Teleportation pad. You are smacking our vending machine with a lightsaber. Good. More of those delightfully valuable cheese rocks. Wait, do they look right to you? Infested space rock. Oh, that can't be good. Some space rocks are valuable, cheesy, and safe to touch, but others have been contaminated with dangerous cosmic materials. It is the color out of space. Remove bad meteors quickly to prevent students contracting medical issues. Okay, wait. Dark thoughts caused by invading space knights. That's perfect. It's also perfect that your last name is Lovecraft. Well done. By the way, you left your meteor here. I've been playing some new video games recently, and man, has it been a while. 
The last time I played video games, you were a tiny hexagon, and you had to chase a squirrel to the top of the castle, or something like that. Anyway, I tried that new Meat Wizard game everyone's going on about, and boy, what a ride. Who knew that being a spell-casting, salami-wielding sorcerer would be so much fun? When you say it out loud, it sounds obvious. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a little bit of everything. Let's bring you in. Oh, we have an attractiveness goal. Let's see. They want us to spend money. High attractiveness rating. 50 students who attend sci-fi convention events in campus level 12. Well, that's actually all pretty straightforward. Plus one, plus one salami. Oh yeah, we're gonna need all kinds of pastoral care. I went on a jaunt through time in my yesterizer the other day. No idea where or when I went to, but it was hideous. Never a dull moment in good old times. Captain yesterday may not have paid me for doing those adverts. They're all yours. Uh, okay, Captain yesterday may not have paid me for doing those adverts, but he did fill my garage with time machines. They're all yours if you want them for a reasonable price. Okay, well, we'll start up a time tourism club. You people with dark thoughts, get those taken care of. They've thrown us some interesting curveballs. Yeah, there's... There's bizarre stuff happening here. Uh, you want to space cumber. Okay, we are an impenetrable wall of academic tenacity. Nice stationery. Tarquin Foxbridge will be coming. Okay, so let's work on that attractive district. Such a popular career path for kids these days. I tell you, I'm seriously concerned that we're losing our perfectly understandable fear of the machines. I mean, don't you see what's happening? When you build a robot, you're working for the robots. We gotta make a stand. Join me in flushing my doorbell down the toilet. United <laughs> we stand, together we flush. Why did you buy a smart doorbell in the first place? Yeah, we're clearly going to need a lot of pastoral care here. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Class is starting soon. You're not late yet. You want space benches? Sure. In fact, let's put them right here where people are going to be sitting. And let's keep you entertained as well.
Someone's got a first aid issue, so let's build the students room for with that. Pastoral issues should go to student support. Plagiarism is not a belief system. <laughs> and let's tuck it right here. There you go. Slight medical power boost. And do we have anyone who can run the place? Yes, we do. Though they're probably busy with pastoral care right now. Now let's wait till we can find someone qualified. You need a command panel in this room. that improve the appearance? The yes, it does. You oh, you're having a duel while you have dark thoughts? That's just asking for trouble. We're just finishing up for today. I hope it was everything you dreamed it would be. Think about it next time you're sleeping and all the false realities drop away around you, leaving you playing chess with a sassy hat stand, finally feeling the real unfiltered truth. See you around. <laughs> we have a budding Sith. Oh yeah, well, we got invaded by the evil space knights, so... Yeah. looking stuff. Oh, of course. The ancient Jedi texts. Ah, you need a basketball hoop in a gym. All right. You have dark thoughts, you have meteor mites, you also need to go to the bathroom. Well, you're getting some of those things taken care of. Let's get a gym in here. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? And this building does well when it's a big room. Let's just put that in for now. People are having tons of fun. Let's see if we can host another convention later in the year. Knights have invaded. Students in the gym are reminded to feel the burn. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's add some more decorative items. Oh, well. Gotta have a UFO. <laughs> I like how they jump a little bit when you set something down. Spooky sweets. Cheese poster. Ooh, abduction poster. Students with pastoral issues should go to student support. Frequently asked questions. <laughs> yes, we are testing you. Oh, wow. We're going to need more first aid. And we don't have a lot of money. Uh, clubs. Where's that time travel? Club. Time tourism club stand. at that. Oh, it's glorious. Time tourism ride. We don't need roads. Janitor needed to unlock Clock of time. Lovely. Not like the others. Students are reminded and the yesterizer. That's actually pretty nice looking. Got some invasion money, that's very good. Because we clearly need more first aid. I'm gonna move that when summer comes. I want a park bench. Just a plain old park bench? Seriously? Students should talk to pastoral support, not me. Uh, our staff need a staff room. basic one for now. I'm sure I'll bust out the loans pretty soon here, but I want to see what we need for the next year. That little purple cloud is. Now that's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio, the place your ears call home. We've got a barnstorming show for you today, but before we kick down the door and go straight for the <laughs> valuables, soak in some sonic excellence. Play that track and we'll be right back.
Loads of books. You want a sci-fi film? I'm not surprised in the slightest. And let's improve the look of this place. too expensive. Let's bring him in. Is that Chinese on this poster? enough of these floor pieces. If that's a good way to get aesthetic bonuses onto the floor itself. Flat flower planter wanted. Everyone always wants that. Ooh, that looks really good there actually. Off center and they're not the same size. Ugh. Ouch. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Space Knight's getting a lesson today, on what not to I do. I seem to have suffered something sharp. We're not sure exactly what it is or what the consequences might be, but we'll update you as soon as we know more. Can you see it? Look at that. Is it in me? Tell me it's not in me. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Wow, our, our one security janitor is having a really hard time with this, but at least he seems to have improved range with that water gun. Okay, how'd we do? No one's graduating yet. One person failed out. 19 continuing. We've got the Student Choice Award. Okay, and now that it's summer, that's gonna have to be it for today. So we will need to expand quite a lot next time. We need a new command room and a new battle space. And our goals are pretty straightforward, but yeah, there's kind of a lot going on here. I'm trying to do a better job than the actual Jedi Academy of actually paying some attention to the psychological well-being of our students. What an idea. So. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Take us to the stream over screen. And let's see who's around. Ooh, Salford Sal is playing Dwarf Fortress, and that's a big deal right now because Dwarf Fortress has just, just had its big Steam release. So everyone who has ever played Dwarf Fortress ever is suddenly charging back into it, and everything is looking all pretty, and I, I can't follow along with that game very well, but it's it's fun to just watch things happen. So let's go say hi. Thank you all so much for joining me, as always.
Hope you all had a great time. I love this DLC. This is great. I, they, they are making all the right jokes. It's beautiful. So I will see you all next week. And thank you for joining me.